Welcome back to Let's Play Drug Craft RJ Nick 2 here again. Uh, I'm just going to refer to myself as RJ Nick, but like I said, this is my secondary account because my main account does have items on here. Um, today I'm going to show you how to get started on how to make a base. And it's, like I said, it's really simple. Right now I'm just running away from spawn um, in a random direction. Everything is spawn protected, so you can't break anything until you get a certain distance away from spawn, which I'm sure once we hit that, you'll see that. One very important thing to note is this red line here. Basically, when you're on the line or on this side of the line, you cannot get attacked by players. As soon as you cross that line, PvP is enabled and everything's fair game. So there are a lot of people that'll sit around in full diamond or god armor and just crap on noobs and just take their intro armor. So just be careful about it. Um, if you do cross the line, if you're on fire or getting attacked, you'll instantly be put out and you will no longer take damage and stuff. So if you are getting attacked close to the line, you can try to make it back, but there's no guarantee that uh, you will be safe. But just want to let you guys know um, that that's what that's for. It's not a spawn line. Once you get on the other side, you can't start breaking stuff. It's a little bit further out than that. But I think they do that just to protect their server from getting griefed. So I'm just going to keep running and I'm just going to pick a random direction. The spawn does look a lot different than I remember before. As you can see there's mushrooms here which are drugs but you can't do anything with them because they are in a spawn protected zone. So you can see here the spawn protection ends and you can see everything starting to get destroyed. You can see little tunnels and stuff everywhere. You gotta be careful. People are pretty crappy and they will uh, leave traps everywhere. There'll be holes that fall all the way down to bedrock. Just uh, kill people. Um, so, especially in spawn, you just got to be really careful with all that. Like I said, you can see there's absolutely no trees here. Just because people... This is the first areas that people get to, so anything here is just going to get strip mined to hell. So... I'm just going to keep running out. You can see someone here must have made a sky... Um, sky fort or something you can see it goes all the way up people have probably buckets of water that they climbed up there with I'm not gonna go up there anytime you see waterfalls or pillars going up somewhere you can pretty much guarantee that someone else is already raided um, raiding and griefing is enabled if you find someone else's farm or chests or anything you can take it you can destroy it do whatever you want it's part of their rules and it definitely sucks if you do get raided because you know nothing's worse than building a huge ass farm and having it just simply destroyed but you know that's all part of drug craft so just part of the risk of the game um, I am just gonna keep running because I know that's gonna take a long time to get away from this crap and unfortunately I can't run anymore so let's eat some food yeah this is definitely a different world than before because before is just surrounded by a ton of water, which is kind of nice because you could take the water and you could just go out far. You know, people are more likely to run across the ground than swim for a few hours across a huge ass ocean. So hopefully we can find that and just swim out into the middle of nowhere and start making our base. Technically, now that we're out of spawn, you can make a base anywhere you want. You could build a house, you could pillar all the way up and make a sky fort. It really doesn't matter. The, like I said, the game is now open. If you want to start planting seeds here, feel free. You can do whatever you want. There are no more restrictions. The only thing that you have to keep in mind is the closer to spawn you build, the uh, more likely you are that someone's going to stumble upon your base and just start taking all your stuff. So, with that said, yes, you can make your base anywhere you want in the entire game, but you have to be smart about it. Because if you're not, people will find you and then they'll steal everything. Which, like I said, there are no rules against that, so... You just gotta be careful. And it looks like I see a piece of wood or something over there, so I'm gonna try to get that. And sweet. Freeze. Uh, furnace. No coal or anything in it, but... Oh well. Yeah, it's kinda weird that someone would just leave a random piece of wood up there, but hey. Wood is definitely one of the harder things to find in this game 
when you first get started. And so are trees. So if you see trees, I mean, definitely try to get some saplings and stuff. Because, like I said, it's hard to uh, find resources at first. It's a little bit easier now. Their old server was damn near impossible just because there were so many people that had been on the server that pretty much everything within a few thousand blocks of spawn was already destroyed. So I'm just going to break these and hopefully I can get a uh, sapling. Man, it looks like someone was building up there. Is that all wood up there too? If I had a bucket or a ton of cobble, I would just cobble up to it. But, you know, I've learned that there's really no point to it. Anything this close to spawn isn't going to be a huge farm that you can just go raid and get all kinds of drugs and stuff from. So it's right now it's pretty much pointless. And of course I get absolutely no drugs. And I'm a dumbass. And I forgot that blocks in this game despawn ungodly quickly. I think you've got... Uh, I want to say 30 seconds to pick up blocks. Or else they... Uh, disappear. So keep that in mind that anything you drop on the ground will disappear after 30 seconds or so. Um, there is also a mod that'll, they used to have, I don't know if they still have it, but it was a mod that would warn you that all ground items are going to get cleared in so many seconds. So that's, you know, something else to keep in mind. Make sure to get my wood first. There we go. Like I so said, you can buy wood, which is probably what I'll end up doing later on. But for now, you know, free wood. Can't complain about that. Just afraid that someone's going to come over here and just start attacking me. Which would suck, but like I said, that's part of the game. you got to be careful. That's why you got to build a base somewhere, set your home to that, and then that way you can warp between your base and spawn without having to make that trip. So even if it takes you a few hours to get somewhere, um you can do slash set home and it will set that area to your home so all you have to do is type slash home and you'll get teleported to your base and I don't know why I'm not getting any saplings I guess the game just does not like me today but that's okay um, let's just see if we can get a couple more pieces of wood This way we can start our farm a little easier. Okay, awesome. Wow, look at that. Sapling right there. Cool. Um, where does that go? Whatever. Eventually, give it another month or so, all these trees will be gone. There'll be no sign of any of this stuff here. So I like seeing water because that means that we're getting close to the ocean. And wow, sweet. Look at that, I wasted all that time grabbing those trees pretty much for nothing because there's a ton of them over here. I'm just going to grab a bunch of them. Awesome. Gotta love wood. It just goes to show that you know, their server was recently reset because none of this stuff was here before. Um, it does kind of suck. I was kind of pissed when I logged in one day. At first I thought, you know, for some reason my account was reset personally, and then I found out by reading their forums that one of their mods was compromised and it allowed some hacker um, to get in there and basically delete key folders that corrupted all their mods and stuff, so that was kind of crappy. But, I mean, it happens. There are people out there that uh, think that stuff's funny. But, nothing we can do about it. Anyways, I've got enough wood now to get started. So I'm just going to keep running out. Um, which is, this is weird because I'm not used to seeing this many resources close to spawn, but like I said, you just don't want to build by spawn because it's a bad idea people will find you. There are a lot of people. It is against their rules, just so you guys know, to use 
um, x-ray texture packs or clients or anything like that but you know there's unfortunately not too many ways to uh, detect it so you do have to be careful like I said even though it's against their rules you really can't be guaranteed to be protected against it which is why like I say you need to get far away from spawn farther away you are the less likely someone is to come randomly find your base and start looting all your hard grown crops and I think I'm gonna end this episode here it's been about 10 minutes sorry that this video didn't do too much I just gathered some wood which is not all that interesting I know but it is part of the game is a good start for it um, let me know what you think let me know if you have any questions like I said there are a lot of people that start playing this game and just get frustrated because they don't get help or they can't figure out how to do certain things um, why is it right over here that's weird it's all lit up like there's a torch or something but there's not unless hmm. weird um, yeah anyways like I said if you have any questions about the game um, definitely feel free to ask I'll try to explain everything like I said it can be frustrating getting started which is why I'm gonna create this um, I'm gonna stop it here and my next episode is gonna pick up once I actually uh, find a base a spot that I want to use for my base um, for me it'll take probably a couple hours for you guys it'll take clicking to the next video but like rate subscribe let me know your thoughts what you want to see and uh, you know I will see you guys soon and try to answer all the questions you have and show you more of drug craft.